Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So a number of you asked me, is the Keralan black sand magnetic? Uh, first off, I'm going to see if it uh, has a magnetic field all by itself. And I'm going to use this e-smog meter here. And on this e-smog meter, if you go over to the other side, it has this Gauss uh, meter on one side. And I've got it set up and I'm going to show you using a neodymium magnet uh, what this does. So I go here, there's our neodymium magnet and you can see here it's picking up the, the Gauss uh, from the magnet there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to reset that. Yeah, turn it off, turn it back on. And I'm going to put that on to Gauss there. And I'm going to bring in our source of Corral and Black Sand. And I'll bring it over and see what happens. Take it away. Bring it in. Uh, the answer is not a lot. So it isn't magnetic by itself. Okay. Now I have some plasticized card in the background here and I'm going to use this little knife here and I'm going to take some of the sample and put it on here and we are going to use that same neodymium magnet placed underneath and we will see if we can move some of this around to see if it's ferromagnetic. So if there was iron or nickel or cobalt or gadolinium in there, you know, you could potentially see it move around. Well, we're going to find out. Okay, so there's our neodymium ring magnet, and I'm going to bring this down as much as I can into proximity with it, and we will see if it... Yes, okay, so a proportion of this sand is, in fact, magnetic. So is this gadolinium magnetic or is this iron magnetic? Now I think if you go and look at the studies of this sand, you will note that a proportion of it is iron rich. Interesting to see. Can anyone see if that some of that is going around, uh, away from the magnet? Let me zoom into this a bit closer. See if it is only a proportion of the material. It's a good proportion of it, but it's only a proportion of it. And it's interesting, this might be one way of separating one fraction of the sand, because it definitely looks like some of the blacker stuff on the left is the magnetic stuff. Move around there in the middle. Move over there. Okay, there we go. So, it is influenced by a neodymium magnet fit magnetic field, and I think, I'm pretty sure, that the darker fraction here is magnetic and this is lighter. So, I think, look at that, definitely looks lighter than that. Okay, what do you think? Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.